Toys in the hood. So you hit him and yeah, the game actually says it is on sale even though you have the game, which makes perfect sense. So you go up here and these little guys, remember they go to wherever you want. So the enemies at this point in the game are pretty newbie, you know. There's also these score things you can hit. You can collect them normally or you can hit them with your head. Either way, you get the same amount of points. No difference there. I've not really seen a point in the game for points. Oh wow, that sounded weird. But here's an example of like the heads and stuff like that, right? So you've got this, and if you hit it, it just moves him over. But if you were to use that hammer, it really fucking knocks him on his ass. So there's that one way, right? And I got a secret bonus point for that. But then you can also do this and hit Captain Dickface here. And you can also knock this over. And then it breaks the whole damn thing. Also, I want to get the pig nose. So there's multiple ways to do stuff in this game. And yeah, this is the pig nose. I don't really have any words for this. Also note that a lot of the times with some heads, you can't like, okay, like see if I want to get up now, I can't do it because I can't actually grab. Because the button for attacking and, and grabbing is the same thing. But some heads let you do that, like the triple head, which shoots your head out three times. And so you can actually grab the, uh, you can grab it with that. Now I wonder, can you grab it with, yes, yeah, so you can grab it with any of your heads. It doesn't even matter. As long as one of those heads connects, it's enough. I think you can actually push this down somewhere else too. I forgot what you fucking do with that. Now here's the other thing too. Remember that vacuum head I was talking about? You can grab that and then see you suck in. Oh, I didn't do it. Hold on. Oh yeah, see I sucked in a banana, which gives you extra life. I'm not really sure why a banana gives you extra life. Now this is the most prominent head in the game in terms of a secret bonus level at the very end of the game. And this is the bonus head, which is signified by a huge B. And so to get the bonus thing, you need to make five shots. And it goes up each time you play. Now see, if you get it into the key, if you get into that key looking, th well it doesn't really look like a key I guess, it only looks like a key to me because I've played the game, but if you get it into that thing that looks like two eyes or whatever, the only icon there that's not normal, then you basically, the whole thing ends and it says fuck you. And so you want to get it into the uh, stars and the basketballs just give you more basketballs. And so whatever you do, you do not want to get that thing into the... Uh, into the star looking thing. Do not let it go in there. Because basically you have to nail these bonus levels to get that extra bonus level later on in the game. And trust me, it's worth it. It is really, really worth it. And you need to get a uh, foul oh, shit. You need to get five. So you made five fucking shots. So now you have to remember a number. And that number is four. So you have to remember the number four. And then the game says, okay, you remembered it, and you're like, cool, daddy-o. And now you're back in the game. So we're actually going to get uh, this head, because this is pretty nice. So now you have to pull this thing off, and it falls down and chases after you, and then you want to have that head so you can pretty much protect yourself. This game likes to explode a lot. Um, so now you can actually get this head, which is basically like the speed head. So you can fly around 90 miles an hour. And I mean, look at these dudes. These are some crazy motherfuckers. What are these guys doing? They're doing like the shuffle and their heads pop off and they grimace with their teeth. And it's like, what are these, what are these guys even doing? And you can get a banana again if you need it. Or you really shouldn't at this point. So you have two ways to progress here, actually. Well, okay, I guess you didn't need it for that. I'm thinking of a different part. But here's, yeah, so this is what the invisible thing would have been good for, is to not get hit by the uh, feet. And like, look at, again, look at the mode of like, it's, it's a play. You have like the light up there that's flickering. You have the toes that have like an actual bolt in them, the gears and everything else. It's like, I miss, I miss this kind of like effort that people put into like the graphics of games. The little fine touches like that. And I mean, look at the water coming out of the sides and everything. It's just, it's just, it's really awesome. But this, this dude is a robot dude. And I see that face on a lot of things, and I know it represents something, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But, so you beat the shit out of this guy, and then he freaks out and tries to draw you in. And then pretty much you just keep on hitting him for no apparent reason, because you're just an asshole. And here's another secret bonus point right here. These dudes hop out, and they want to go greet you, but they actually hurt you. So you just blow them up, and I guess that sucks for them. Now there's two separate ways you can go here, but first I'm going to show you something. 
You can get the sleeping head, which basically makes you completely like, you can't do shit right now. You can't move, you can't jump, you can't defend yourself. But for as long as you're sleeping, you gain life back. And then you've got the spike head, which lets you, well, literally stick to walls. So you, you can imagine how that can be used. So you've got that, but then you've also got this head. Well, I didn't mean that one. You've got the tiny head, so now you're tiny, but now you can fit into small crevices. So again, the game gives you multiple options to go through. That takes forever though, so fuck going that way. We're gonna do it this way. Even those little tiny things. I don't know what those are. Little tiny puppies? Little dogs? I don't know what those are. This way also has a uh, boss that's kind of a pain in the ass, but he looks really cool, so I wanted to show him to you. Plus there's another head here that's kind of rare, and that is, if I can get to it here, this head, the time freeze head. So during this, you can still be harmed by enemies, but everything else is completely frozen. I also had to pick it right when I couldn't hit shit, which is a good tactic, right? Come on. And he shoots a big ass fucking fireball at you too, which does stupid damage. Oh, look at that shit. Okay, I'm basically fucked. So as you can see, that does kind of ridiculous damage. So let's see if my pro game playing skills here can save my ass. I need to get that head. Or not. Well, when you die, your head explodes. And he says, dumb luck. Notice also, it starts you generally back at the beginning of the stage. From what I remember, there are no checkpoints in this game. So, there are like right before a boss, I think. But that's about it, and that's only in some stages. Hit him from the back. So this time we're going to go through this a little bit quicker. And now I don't really have to explain everything to you guys, because I guess did that. So yeah, so this is basically going to be the calmest you're going to see me this entire game for the most part because uh, I'm not going to sit around and like explain all this shit, you know, in future um, levels. And look at the candle too. The candle, and that's, just, that's just cool. Now depending on how fast you are with some stuff, you can actually uh, manage to like, you know, exploit your head for whatever you're using. Like here I'm completely invincible, right? During the boss. Well, that was smart. I guess if you get hit by him, he just stops doing it. Yeah, but see, these guys are like supposed to be your friends, and they actually do hurt you. So that's why you're like, dick. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take it. We're gonna fucking tell this guy what day it is. Apparently, we're not gonna be able to even make it up the wall because that actually might be a problem if we're gonna tell him what day it is. Come on. There we go. Now your ass is mine. Well, not really that much, but still some. Yeah, this guy does pretty ridiculous damage. I never noticed that back in the day. Noticed that, though. Kicked his ass there. Now I can really kick his ass right here. What the hell? What am I missing? Do I have to hit him from behind? I guess I just can't hit him when he's paused like that. Oh, okay. Huh, I forgot about that. As you can also see, like a treasure game, this game basically does not really uh, give you any mercy when it comes to difficulty. Come on. Oh my god, will you come up from the bottom? Jesus. There we go, perfect. Oh, I can't even hit him. Fuck. There. So yeah, so you get a secret bonus point for killing that guy too, which is why I did it. But you see the little toy soldiers down there. Soldiers? 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 And you jump back down here, and then you go on to the next level. Well, the next scene. So here's the first actual boss of the game. Well, the first actual boss in my opinion. And this dude is just weird. I'm probably going to die on this. And the upper right one is the boss's energy. And here's where this dude points it out. And then he pretty much gets his ass kicked. Like I said, he pretty much gets his ass kicked all the time. So now, this is the thing I never understood about this. Wherever he lands, an arrow points to wherever he lands. And it always used to fuck with me as a kid because I always took it to mean the arrow is where you're supposed to stand. Like the game's saying to you, like, oh, here's the arrow. You need to go there to avoid 
him falling on you. And so a lot of the times I just like run right into that. But yeah, you have to hit his tail pretty much. Now see, the advantage of having the hammer thing here is that it does more damage. But then you can also get the, uh, the thing, the friggin' wing thing that makes you move around faster. Although in a lot of cases, the game will actually give you uh, heads that are kind of useless. So... I mean, and I mean, do I really even need to say anything about the actual boss here? It's like, I mean, you know, this is obviously probably bizarre as fuck for most people. You can also hit the tail off screen, which is pretty good. And I think he's dead. Yep. And whenever you win, Trouble Bruin says, I cannot believe it. That or the Dark Demon dude does from off screen somewhere. And so then you get the key, and you'll see what the keys are used for later, but they are a plot element. I missed two secret points somewhere. I wonder where. Oh, it's probably because I died. I didn't get the one with the big ass ball, huh? That's probably why. But, um, yeah, so that is Dynamite Heady, pretty much. I'm not stopping. I'm going to play through the whole game. I'm just saying. That's pretty much how weird this game is. Now, there's this chick, and I actually forgot her name. Ah, uh, I forgot her name, it, like, completely. But, basically, she's also a plot element, and you'll see why later. But nothing in this game is really as it seems, I can tell you that.